Hey guys, so today we're um, reviewing the Red Dragon K552 and it's super sleek and the RGB is just amazing. But, and it's really durable. I've been using it for two years and um, it hasn't budged or anything. It hasn't worn out or anything, but it has a warranty of five years, I believe. And um, yeah, I think personally, this is just a really good keyboard for heavy usage of gaming and also for office this is like like office work or um just using it for like a regular purpose it's really good because um regular office keyboards they like worn out really quickly and the stitches just come off and it is really bad but this keyboard is only 30 dollars in the us but here in au it's only it's like 60 dollars but um but there is uh so i bought the red lit version because I was on a tight budget back then and um, the RGB version was $10 more which for me was really like you know expensive so th that was $70 and I didn't want to spend $70 on a keyboard so that's why I got the red bit version but the RGB version looks really good though uh, I'll put I'll put a picture of it up on the screen right now and the the switches are old blues, which are really clicky so I'll just show you right now so this is what it sounds like if you go to my channel, um, there's a sound uh, sound test, but it's really clicky. And I used to like really clicky um, keyboards, but now it's, I need to get quieter, like red or red switches or brown switches. But I want to get one soon. But this is what I have for now. So like, so it's really cl clicky, and these um, ones are like loud as well. And there's some echoing in the back, but it's just because I've been using it for two years, but. It's fine, um, and also, yeah, it's fine. When you get it for like new, it doesn't be this echoey. Maybe I just used it or did something really badly to it, and that's why it's echoing this much. But that's it's fine. Um, yeah, and also uh, there's a there's a stand option for this, so it, it can stand up. And yeah, so if if I want to put put it flat, um, give me a sec. It has, it, it's like really flat. Yeah, see, it's flat. But if I put it up, there's a like good usage, like a usage for like, um, if you want to hire it or not. Uh, but yeah. See, now it's like, if you go from the side, it's, um, you see it's lifted and yeah, it's, it's better. I like it flat just because of, um, because if I put it lifted, it's more echoey and while gaming it's really annoying so that's why i put it flat but if you get a new it, you can put it up if you want if you like that way but yeah the keycaps are also really durable and yeah also um the only problem with the keyboard is sometimes uh, when i'm gaming it turns off or like randomly turns off but it happens it doesn't happen with all the time but with this keyboard and the gorgeous model, which I have right here, um, and I'll make a review about it soon. Um, this is the best combo I've ever used because it's like it's just super like um, smooth while gaming, and when you game with this and the gorgeous model, it's just the best thing ever. Like you can you can get like if you're playing Fortnite, you can crank 90, you can do anything. But yeah. Um, the one, the only thing I, another thing that I don't like this, the spacebar is also like really echoey and sometimes comes off because I've been using it too much. But when it gets new, it's fine. Yeah, and yeah, that's basically all I have for this. And also, um, this, the wire, it's really durable and it doesn't come off. I wish it was USB C so I can unplug it and yeah. Yeah, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and I recommend this for people who are tight budget. And yeah, this is just a really good keyword overall. Thank you guys. Also, um, I'll, I'll, uh, at 100, 100 subscribers, I'll be doing a face review. And yeah, thank you for watching.